What's going on everybody, it's Cyberlux here, and I have great news for those of you who have not played Season 1 of Modern Warfare. Now, in case you haven't realized yet, Modern Warfare has basically lost all of its identity thanks to Activision making it turn to a whole propaganda for Black Ops Cold War, if you see what I did there, play on words. And it's kind of sad that a game has basically lost its identity, there's nothing left, it's basically Cold War Part 2. But essentially, what I want to talk to you about is the new bundles, I should say the old new, the new old bundles, I suppose, that are coming to Modern Warfare. Basically, in the Battle Pass of Season 1, there are actually, if you go in game right now and you look at the operators, you'll realize that you have some new missions available for you that basically have old battle pass missions for the characters, specifically Domino, Bale, Azur, two Mara skins, Rodeon, Minotaur, Wyatt, and I believe Grinch, I might have forgotten one of them, I do apologize, but basically the season one battle pass skins that you got every 10 tiers are available now, however, they, the bundles themselves that they're being sold with are going to be called vault packs and they are not available. Now, if you have the operators alone, you'll realize that these do not track and it's going to be similar to how Gaz Worked. If you remember how Gaz worked, I'll explain very briefly. In the Gaz bundle, it was the first bundle of its time to do this. Essentially, you had to buy the bundle and it would come with the mission with the thing, and that would allow you to get two more skins to claim more and the other one, I'm, it's slipping off my mind, but there are two other skins, I think it was Bronze Sword, actually, you could get if you bought the bundle. Now, that's going to be likely the same case with this, where you'll basically buy the base skin with the bundle for maybe 1,200, probably 2,400 card points. It'll come with some random items from Season 1, the Battle Pass, which will no longer be rare to people like me who have actually played Season 1. Uh, and you should have the missions available to get the next two. So if you're trying to get these skins right now, the only way you can get these skins right now is if you actually played Season 1. So if you're trying to get these and you never have had the skins, you're gonna have to wait until they get released. Now, as for when they'll be released, I have no clue. I would probably prognosticate it'll probably be maybe two weeks or one week before the season ends in 30 days or so. Uh, that should be when the new Warzone map comes out around then. Could be earlier, could be next week, or it could be in season two of Black Ops Cold War. I do not know when these are coming out, but you're just seeing here basically there are skins already on the card tracker site, which is where all the bundles are, and it already locates how there's different vault bundles here. There's several, and there's one for every 10 tiers, which is every different operator skin. Now, in other news, on the operator skin thing, I know a lot of my uh, channel's been about operator skins recently, I understand that. I do apologize if you're expecting something else, but it, this needs to come to light. There is a new Ronin bundle coming, and if you go, and if you have Ronin already, you can actually see it's the same thing there. Now, we know a little bit more about the Ronin bundle. We just, again, don't know when it's being released, maybe next week. It comes with the sword, it comes with the Hakakure, it comes with Zen, and it comes with the Honjo skins. And you cannot get these just quite yet, but again, I'd assume this is part of the Rosen Ronin bundle that's coming soon, which is probably going to be 2,400 card points, and it's going to come with, again, that mission, just like Gaz had, where you can only complete the mission as long as you have that base operator unlocked from the bundle. Not the Ronin bundle, but this new Samurai bundle that you can buy, which is kind of, you know, a mispractice, but I mean, hey, Activision can be gritty as long as they want. This is all I want to talk to you about in this video. If you have any questions about the Season 1 skins, let them know down below. If I need to explain something a little bit slower, or if you have any questions about Season 1 or these new Operator missions, let me know down below. Again, the bundles, there's no confirmed date for any of these bundles coming out. We just know they're in the files, and if you go on Modern Warfare right now, you can see that you can view the missions right now, but you cannot complete them. With that being said, lads, I'm Cyblox, and I'm signing out.